So here, one, two, three, four, and so on. This is an arithmetic progression. Because I told you, arithmetic progression is a very simple pattern where we keep on adding the same number again and again and again. Now, same one, two, three, four itself can be visualized in so many ways. Let me make it a bit more interesting. So, using squares, if you are using squares, how can you visualize one, two, three, four? There are many ways. Let me show you one basic thing here. So, one, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Now, if you are using circles or let's say semicircles to visualize one, two, three, four, and this is just to make you think here, it's, there's nothing for you to write down in exams over here, just to make you think. And uh, so let's start using semicircles. Just take a line. If I take a semicircle with diameter one, that's like this, then continue with uh, a semicircle with diameter two, then with three, then with four, it's, it's looking good, right? This is like a spiral where each consecutive, se the first semicircle with diameter one, next with two, two, next with three. So this is one more visualization for one, two, three, four and so on. Now, if you think about uh, what you can see around us, you can connect. This is how a snail will look like almost. Now, instead of using, so we use squares, we use circles or semicircles to visualize one, two, something as easy as one, two, three, four itself. And this is how you should start thinking whenever you see, when you look at number patterns, any number pattern can actually be visualized. Something in basic diagrams, some of them in a uh, bit more interesting diagrams. If you take points to visualize, use points and visualize one, two, three, four, it can be made to look like this. One, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. So that's one easy way to visualize one, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, like that. Now, so here we just discussed about an arithmetic progression where we were adding one to the previous number to the next number and again one. So one is the number which I added again and again and again to get this particular progression. Now, if, if I am adding two again and again and again, so let's write that now. One, three, five, seven. If I write this down, we call them odd numbers, but how are you getting the numbers here? By adding two here, I got three. Again, two, I got five. Again, two, I got seven like that. So one, three, five, seven, if you want to visualize, let's look at the last diagram itself, the, where we used points. If I bring that up here and just join all the outer points here, you'll get a triangle and join all the points like this and just count the number of triangles in each line. What you'll see is one, next line you'll see three triangles, next line you'll see five triangles, next you'll see seven triangles and so on. So we just visualize one, three, five, seven. If I am using squares to visualize one, three, five, seven, so this one, three, five, seven. Let's try visualizing using squares. Again, it's interesting. So take a square, unit square, so that's one. Now bring that here, add one on top, one to the side, that's one, two, three. Now the same three you bring it here. I need to add two on top of this because we are adding two in every step. So one on top and one to the right. So that's one, three, five. So again, now just to make it a bit more interesting. Now the same one, three, five. If I start adding terms here, one, one plus three equal to four, one plus three plus five equal to nine. So we are getting square numbers. So you should, you should think about why are we getting square numbers here? Why are we getting square numbers while adding odd numbers that again, you can be, it can be visualized and it's very simple and interesting. So we have uh, first take one and then take three, just rotate and keep it on top. So you'll get a two by two square here. Now to the two by two square, if this five here, if I just rotate by 90 degrees and keep it on top, that will become a three by three square as you can see now. So that's one plus three plus five equal to nine. Almost like uh, the bricks game, Tetris game, which you must have played before. Now, just to make you think a little further, let's take, let's look at uh, the number pattern. You start with one and keep on adding three again and again and again. What is that you will get? Very simple, right? One, 
1 plus 3, 4, plus 3, 7, plus 3, 10, etc, etc. This is also an arithmetic progression because that basic condition of adding the same number again and again and again is satisfied here. So let's visualize 1, 4, 7, 10. So I'll start with the triangle. Now I'll add 3 to it. That's in this diagram. I'll flip this triangle 3 more times. Once, twice, thrice. Now we have an outer triangle. Adding 3 more to it. It's nothing but flip it 3 more times. Once, twice, thrice. So same 147 can be visualized in this diagram and so on. So you can and once you continue doing this, you look up, you'll get a very beautiful pattern as you can see here.